Hey, hi, and hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well. And I would like to take a moment to talk about a tweet that I saw got launched to Twitter.net a few days ago from the one and only Quideca singer, rapper, songwriter, producer, multi-instrumentalist. Uh, his latest record, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You, that I reviewed recently, has been one of the most celebrated albums to come out last year. Uh, a lot of fans, uh, longtime fans of his, surprised and impressed by the stylistic change on this new LP. A lot of doubters, a lot of haters who didn't really enjoy his previous stuff, amazed and blown away by the leaf. Uh, creatively, he's turned on this new record. I was surprised myself and enjoyed quite a bit of the album. And uh, Quideca, in a recent interview, and as far as I uh, know, has been enjoying the reception of the album, enjoying the uh, newfound love for his music uh, that he's been seeing out there. Uh, but he has taken issue with at least some of the tone of it in this tweet that we will read now. I don't like convos I've seen around my album and the Yachty album in recent times where people use them to demean rap as an art form. Unexpected evolutions are very cool, but shouldn't be implied someone is an inherently more mature artist because they've made something that isn't rap. First, I do want to say that I do feel like there is a lot of validity to the observations that Quideca is making on this record. And I think for a lot of people, as far as genres and styles of music and so on and so forth, there is kind of like a, a hierarchy in their heads in terms of like what art forms mean more or are uh, routinely deeper or more significant. Much of that, of course, is rooted in cultural biases. It's rooted even in racism, which is kind of disappointing, especially after the past decade that we've had. And while for sure you could point at a lot of a, a very vapid, rudimentary, mindless hip hop bangers uh, that have come out and hit the mainstream in the past 10 years, uh, easily also some of the most groundbreaking, significant, conceptual and important music to come out over the last 10 years uh, has also been hip hop. It's almost as if like the genre, like any other genre, uh, has its uh, high points, has its crap, has its deep shit, has its shallow shit. Just because something is a rock album doesn't mean inherently it's going to be deeper, more meaningful, or uh, speak to your soul more, or just like have more emotional intelligence or something like that. Look at the new Moniskin record. Or Greta Van Fleet, or even the band Jet for that matter. But those bands are often not at the forefront of our minds when it comes to rock music in general. And that's because rock music, I think, has a really good PR system going. Take that combined with what record labels and media companies typically tend to promote and push out there in terms of mainstream hip hop music. And of course, you're going to have a fair amount of uh, the music listening audience, especially white music listeners, having a really skewed view of what hip hop is, what it could be, substantially what it stands for, and I think the end result of that is in audiences' minds, you have a hierarchy in terms of perceived depth, emotionally speaking and artistically speaking, of different genres, which is unfortunate because specifically in the case of Yachty, uh, I don't necessarily see his latest LP, while it is very good, uh, deeper or more important than his debut Little Boat Tape, which I think is fantastic. I mean, yes, flawed, but still unique and daring and quirky and uh, full of attitude and fun and just a, a really good project all around. And personally, I don't see it more or less creative uh, than his new one. Uh, despite it being a rap album as opposed to like a psychedelic pop or rock experience. Now, I don't necessarily think uh, this is, I guess, like an open and shut or watertight argument from uh, Ben over here because, you know, would these claims be made of him as an artist and his new record if he were for example, uh, dropping an album that was of the quality of like, let's say Lil Wayne's Rebirth, or um, I don't know, that punk record that Vic Mensa came out with a little while ago, Probably not. I think most people would be saying like, what the hell are you doing? Number one. And number two, uh, I, I don't think there would be a, a perceived jump in uh, maturity there. But there is kind of a weird freak out moment we have been observing as of late when a rap artist makes a genre other than rap that you don't necessarily see when you, know, you hear of an electronic music artist who might be dabbling in noise or jazz or a metal artist who may be doing hip hop themselves or uh, I don't know, some hard rock artist who came out with an 
an acoustic record or a folk record or a singer songwriter who's all of a sudden dropping electro pop. And for whatever reason, even though it is a good thing and we come to expect at least a certain amount of range from our favorite artists, especially as uh, they go further into careers that are lasting five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, we are just repeatedly stunned every time a rapper manages to dabble in a genre that isn't hip hop. And I mean, why? They're artists. They're uh, forging long-term careers. They should be doing and trying other things. Look, I think at the end of the day, uh, we should come to expect maturity and growth and evolution from whatever artists we're listening to, regardless of what genre they are in. There are plenty of rock bands who have stagnated into one sound for over 10 years, and it's boring as hell. And of course, it is possible to stay in the lane of hip hop and grow artistically in such a way where there's like an obvious amount of maturity going into your newer work or conceptual or emotional depth. Look at Danny Brown as he transitioned from uh, his uh, early mixtape days to Atrocity Exhibition. If Ben had gone from making YouTube rap to dropping a record like that, there probably would have been comments about uh, you know his, his growth in artistry over that course of time as well, even with him not really switching genres. But still, at the end of the day, I do think there is some validity to what Ben is saying. I think that we as a music listening audience should be aware and cognizant of it and not inherently see uh, hip hop as a genre that just isn't as deep as other styles of music out there due to cultural biases, due to media presentation of uh, this genre versus other genres. And I will leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts about this discussion and this topic down in the comments. You're the best. Love you. Mwah. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Quideca, Music, Opinions, a Forever.